Today I would like to talk about a subject that we all struggle with. The fear of crashing, the fear of getting hurt, the fear of like not clearing a jump or doing a drop. And actually today I'm working with Jess the Maker. You all know Jess from her amazing funny videos on Instagram and all social media platforms. And i um, been talking to her because she's been struggling with doing a bigger jump here at Huntley Gravity in Bella Vista. So Jess, I would love to help you out, get over that fear and build that confidence again uh, with you hitting the whole jump line uh, here on Air Aid. No, I just like freaking out my brain. No. I think this is something we can all relate to. We've all crashed before, hurt ourselves. Um, so when getting back into it, we need to take our time and slowly build that confidence again. So I'm really excited to help uh, Jess out today. What we're first gonna do is a couple of warm up laps on the jumps that she's currently super comfortable with. And after that, we're going to work on the jumps that are lower uh, down this trail, but we are going to do it in a safe way. And with a safe way, I mean, first, I'm gonna teach her how to case them. So you're not clearing them right away. You're just getting a feel of it. You're getting some speed into it and you case them. And then by getting a couple of repetitions in on that, then is when we start picking up and trying to, you know, clear the whole jump. Um, never haul ass right back into it after getting injured. Uh, it's so important that you take your time. For this, we're gonna work on the front flips, but. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Okay, all right. Okay, just going over this last uh, repetition you did, this last jump. So coming in, you're using this roller really nicely to pump over it setting up okay preloading here pressing in great mm -hmm. pedal like heels are dropping down into the jump i love this like you're really using your bike to preload here uh -huh. out sending tall and then crutching a little in right here also being a little stylish which is pretty sweet Trying a little bit looking good <laughs> i love that and then back yeah. side okay so if we're gonna do bigger jumps the one one thing that i would like to focus on is right here yeah try to stay taller a little longer versus like squatting Squashing towards it. the bike i'm jumping is less than more you know we're trying to do quite Just a few little things incremental versus thing. like staying up and kind of floating and then letting the bike come back down okay makes sense or yeah. you want me to do one so you can yeah i want to see you do it i'll do it and then copy paste it i got copy paste Let's see bing easy. bang boom yeah <laughs> no um, <laughs> dope yeah that's so dope she even got tall in the air like as she was in the air she was like oh i'm gonna get taller how does that even work that's pretty cool <laughs> so right here i'm letting the well, bike kind of come up underneath me so yeah. the bike can keep going uh -huh. and then as you can tell i land way past kind of the landing and over the knuckle because yeah, the landing is so them. long and sometimes we forget that you know, you yeah. got to be going so fast and crazy if you wanted to flat land it. Everybody kind of has their own way of like preloading. So some people like to preload more in their feet. So you're definitely more in your feet. I you am, just like yeah. press into the bottom bracket, um, which is fine. We all have our own ways of doing that. It's not yeah. necessarily like you have to do it one way. I'm just kind of both. And with teaching, I think it always helps too to like show people both ways. Like yeah. how you can either preload also in the arms, make sure you build the pressure up because you got to help your bike building that pressure up, right? Yeah. The suspension is kind of pressing into the jump. You're mm -hmm. helping that. And when you come out, it needs to come out. You know, that it needs to come out. The pressure of the suspension needs to pop. Got it. Sent you to the moon. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> we don't want to do that. that. So you're preloading and when it comes out, you want to help the bike come out. Help so as soon as we get tight on the bike, we're kind of keeping that bike down it's controlling you because mm -hmm. it still wants to go but if we're tight and like kind of squashing in the bike it's yeah. often like throwing us like it doesn't kind of forward okay and, and it has nowhere like, to go it has nowhere to go it stops okay. all right cool cool all right just dropping in again so what we're really focusing on now is for her to get a little bit taller while she's up in the air so she can really get over the top off the jump so here she comes dropping in such a nice body position nice and tall pushing over the roller preload yeah so good so she could tell right now right at the end she was totally clearing and coming over this knuckle which is what we want the landing is long enough and most jumps they have a long landing and not too steep so it's really nice to practice that like get a little bit taller relax um so you clear it nicely all the way on the back side how about how was that <laughs> good okay nice work that felt better too i think i felt more in control in the air 
towards the later part of the jump. Exactly. All right, next step that we're doing is having Jess case the third jump. So this is the jump she hasn't jumped yet. And um, by slowly rolling in and getting comfortable with the takeoff, that's a big step of, you know, actually ending up doing this jump. So first, light preload, nothing too much, but she's going to get tall and then she's going to case the jump and roll it out. And then slowly we're going to build up speed so she's getting comfortable with it and she knows how this jump feels uh, when she's really going to commit to it. So we're at the third jump. This is the one that we're going to work on next. Annika just brought up like a super great point. And I think it's something that a lot of women go through uh, is just this idea that it's really uh, intimidating and kind of maybe can feel a little awkward to try to practice jumps by just rolling them. Uh, especially when there's like a bunch of dudes like hitting them and doing all the stees and stuff like that. So Annika, talk more about yeah. about that, how you've coached other, other yeah. women through that. So what I like to do is, um, kind of what I mentioned earlier, slowly build that confidence, slowly build the speed and slowly build getting more air. Um, because we don't want to rush into it because still we got to build that confidence. So what I like to do is now that we're on the third jump, we're going to roll in, okay. but we're not right away going to jump it. We're okay. going to case it, but we're going to case it kind of the way we jump. So with that, I mean, um, the preload won't be as heavy. I want you to be, be relaxed because you're not totally jumping it yet, but you're still going with the jump. It's mountain biking. We need to be dynamic, right? We can't be all rigid on a bike and we yeah. need to breathe. Yeah. So, but then we come out, we come out with the jump. We're still going to get tall because okay. I want the bike and body separation. And then we case it, but because we're tall on the bike, we can use our arms and legs exactly to absorb. Okay. Um, our arms and legs are an extension of our suspension. So if your suspension is going in, it's absorbing, then you need to be on top to absorb as well. You can't be all rigid, or you can't be tight coming off the lip because that happens so often. I see people coming in and then like, huh, and then the bike's just like, boom, sends them forward or they get the double bounce because there's no bike and body separation. So we do that once or twice, and then you start feeling how this feels. Okay. Get a little bit more speed, get a little taller, you know? And we want a little bit of speed just so we don't get wobbly. If we have a little bit more speed, our bike will move forward versus like going free riding off the side. I'm right. Yeah. I feel good. No, I, what I think now would be a good thing is to go all the way to the top. Okay. But still, we're not thinking about jumping in. Okay. So now we're thinking about the first two. And then yeah. the next step is to feel the speed. Feel the speed here and then still knowing that you're going to case it, but you are going to set yourself up a little bit more because you're coming in with more speed. So that's now the next step that we're doing. Yeah. Okay. And then you break before a little bit if you need to, if because need to. yes, if you feel like it is really fast, um, slow down a little bit, but come off of it again and case it and then roll it out. Okay. You got it. Okay. About the same. Any doubts? <laughs> <laughs> no. Cheers. Dropping in, feeling that speed, slowing down a little. Oh my god! <laughs> nice! <laughs> All right, I had just start at the top, hit the first two doubles, and then case that third one. And now she's ready, I'm pretty positive. Anyway, how did you feel about that one? Um, I feel like, honestly, it was fine. Like, I was yeah. fine, I, I survived. Exactly. And I think now, you know, to speed and feel the speed, yeah. you're ready for the next step to yeah. hit it. I think I'm just ready to hit it at this point. Exactly. Are you getting anxious now to be like, I just want to go and do it? Yeah. Like at this point, I'm like, honestly, I feel like I just need to commit to the speed. Yes. And that would help if you want to follow me in. Yeah. That would I always help. Yeah. Sweet. Okay. All right, sweet work, Jess. <laughs> you just uh, take that box. Woo! Nice work. Yeah, we did the third one and we jumped the fourth one. I just thought just might as it. well. Yes. Yeah. Um, how are you feeling? I feel awesome. Like cool. I now I'm like okay, I'm ready. I think yeah. it was just that initial getting to that point yeah. and just the commitment, having to commit. Yeah. Then really getting a feel for the lip and landing and being like that was so smooth. 
um, it's almost like I'd rather not case it, so I'd rather just commit to it and perfect, you know. Because what is also like really important, we talked about that when we were pedaling up, is that um, what you do differently now versus like just going up to it and braking and exiting before the jump is uh, when you do that, you keep building up fear. Yep. And almost like in your mind, it jumps becomes bigger and bigger versus just riding it and casing it and getting a feel of the jump. And then you get to the point of like, hey, I'm actually ready. Like we just had it. Yeah. And I told Jess too, if you, hey, if you hit that third one and you feel good, keep it going because those jumps are the same. Uh, we have one more, um, the last one. Um, and now the adrenaline is kind of, you know, yeah. kind of kicked out a little bit because yeah. the first time you do it, you're a little bit more tense. You're a little bit more nervous. And I are like, well, shit, I know how to do this feels good and now we get the flow we keep the flow going and hit that fifth one the last one too Woo! all right all right send it we're gonna do it we got this one rolling and we got that one rolling all right, all right here we go we're going air raid holly gravity bella vista super fun trail it is a black trail it starts with a drop in right here work yeah um so what would you after today what would you tell the people at home that are struggling with this or are like you know are scared of crashing again like what would you take away from today that would help somebody at home yeah i think well number one i would say working with a coach yeah is a great way um <laughs> honestly i think it's i'm also i've coached a lot in my past and just being able to be coached by an amazing you know coach uh and know that I can do these incremental things to improve my form. And that also allows me to know, okay, I'm doing this in a safe way. I'm progressing in a safe yeah. way. And to get that video feedback, I think yeah. is invaluable. So otherwise you don't really know what you look like up there or what to change. And so the feedback that you were giving me through the entire you know time we worked together was great. And I think it made it, the progression go a little bit faster because yeah. You know what I mean? You Where you see yourself, you right. see yourself, and you know what to change. And um, you looked really good from the beginning. And we only made like certain little changes. Yeah. I always like to coach from a baseline, so um, I let you know Jess ride, and I take a couple of videos and look on what she's doing and how her form is, and then we make some changes. It's better than going into a lot of details prior to that because she'll start overthinking. Mm -hmm. Especially as women are really good yeah. at that. With guys, I always say they don't really have patience. <laughs> After like two repetitions, they're like, I can't do it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but we overthink. So you don't overthink. You know, I take it from the baseline and then we worked up to that. And in a yeah. safe way, build that confidence. Like step by step, working up to that, build that confidence and, um, you know, get back into it. Yeah, that felt good. And then the other thing I thought was really great was simply the no pressure. Yeah. You know, you didn't really say at any point, like, you're going to get all these jumps today and then put that pressure on yeah. me. You kind of let me self lead myself to right. what I wanted to do. And I thought that was a really cool approach nice. to like coaching yeah. and just letting me, you know, figure it out in terms of like how my comfort level, Probably. but Probably. I think not having that pressure there yeah. helped me get there. If that and it's sense. so important not to ever feel any pressure. I need to switch hands because I'm is your arm like, arm. Arm. <laughs> <laughs> or I can hold it. <laughs> we do a switcheroo. Yeah, I'll, I'll hold it now. <laughs> I don't know if I'm getting you in the shot, but I think you are. Hopefully. But I think it's really important to never feel pressure. Don't let anybody pressure you into it. You know, if you're hanging out with a group of friends and they're like, you can do it, you can do it. It's always easier said than done. If you're like, stomach feels upside down, you're nervous and don't yeah. do it. You know, take your time with getting back into it uh, because it's often about the how-to steps. How do I need to execute it? And that's what we went over today. And then mm -hmm. you ride down the trail and you actually know what to do. First, like coming up, I hate it, I hate it, I can't do it, I'm scared, <laughs> you know? Yeah. So you really know how to do it. And uh, yeah, well, you did awesome today. Thank you. And hopefully you we so can help you guys with overcoming fears and that this is such a 
an issue we all struggle with. Yeah. I struggle with it. Yeah. Jess struggles with it. And there's ways to figure that out. Like mm -hmm. maybe get a coach at home, have somebody video you, never feel pressured, slowly build build it up again and uh, build that confidence little by little. If you have any issues that you're struggling with, please let us know in the comments below. We'll try to like um, get back to you and maybe we can help you out with it. Awesome. Thank you, Jess. And thank you Thanks, for taking Monica. over holding yeah. the phone. <laughs> now my, I'm going to have a rip bicep. Have just, we should have just asked Tony. <laughs> I don't know why I wouldn't have asked Tony to hold it. <laughs> <laughs> See ya.